back to school anxiety is that same feeling many parents had at the start of the school year. Now here again months later, just hours before some students return to the classroom. Some families are worried about a surge in Omicron cases. That's right. Tonight we have some new numbers out of L.A. County. Now over the weekend we did see a lot of new cases. Get this nearly 45,000 as well as four new deaths. Now, although hospitalizations did go up to about 1,600 patients, we're doing much better than this time last year when more than 7,000 people were in the hospital with COVID. Still, the numbers are high enough to make uh, some school districts reconsider bringing students back to the classroom this week. That's right. Burbank Unified held an emergency meeting tonight that lasted almost four hours. NBC4's Anusha Rasta joins us now live with their decision and reaction from the parents. Anusha. That's right. Well, Burbank Unified Schools will reopen tomorrow as scheduled. But one of the biggest concerns that parents expressed at the meeting tonight was that a one week delay could get extended and turn into another year of distance learning. Now is the time for us to finally stand up and say enough is enough. In Burbank tonight. These children need to be in school. A battle over whether or not to reopen schools tomorrow. The L.A. County Department of Health is allowing schools to be open. I believe it is an enormous overreach by the Board of Education to put themselves in the, in the place of the Department of Health and decide to close schools or delay schools. One delay leads to another, which leads to another, which leads to another variant, which leads to another school year of truly subpar distance learning. When does it end? The Board of Education for the Burbank Unified School District held an emergency meeting on Sunday to decide whether to reopen schools on Monday morning or delay it one week because of concerns over Omicron. There are teachers, faculty, staff, you name it, going out at lunch in the same car. People aren't social distancing six feet. I'm not trying to preach. But this is what our even like our health professionals are telling us at a minimum we need to be doing. Passionate parents took turns trying to convince board members that delaying in-person learning will hurt kids much more than if they got sick with COVID. Parents and students also argued they followed all the mask and vaccination rules so that they wouldn't have to deal with school closing again. But others are worried that kids will be heading back to school after picking up the coronavirus after gatherings over the holidays and won't be required to show a negative test result before returning for the first day of school. We have a lot of kids right now that will be coming back into our school system tomorrow morning and they're, they're going to be carriers and it's going to infect all of these other kids. We go back, cases rise. We stay home, mental health declines. Obviously, what this, what's great about this alternative that's on the agenda is that it's for a week and we add the week on later. So we aren't actually losing any time and we aren't proposing to go back to online learning once again. Nationwide, a surge in COVID cases is making it tough to keep up with the demand for testing, leading to long lines at testing sites and even longer wait times for results. Parents who didn't take a side at the meeting tonight did say that whenever students do return to class, they should have to show proof of a negative test result first. As of now, students are not required to show proof of a negative test result when they do come back to school tomorrow morning. Reporting live from Burbank tonight, Anusha Rasta, NBC4 News.